USA testing new 7th generation fighter jet. According to the Air Force's top procurement official, who spoke with Defense News on September 14, the service has surreptitiously designed, constructed, and piloted at least one prototype of its mysterious next generation fighter jet. The defense community, which last witnessed the first flight of an experimental aircraft during the competition for the Joint Strike Aircraft contract 20 years ago, is sure to be shocked by the development. The introduction and successful first flight of a demonstration were not anticipated for years, as the Air Force's future fighter program was still in its early stages. Before the Air Force Association's Air, Space, and Cyber Conference, Will Rupper gave Defense News an exclusive interview. We've already built and flown a full-scale flight demonstrator in the real world, and we broke records in doing so. We are prepared to embark on the construction of the next-generation aircraft in a manner never seen before. Due to the Next Generation Air Dominance Program's classification, almost all information about the aircraft will remain unknown. This program is the Air Force's attempt to field a family of interconnected air warfare systems, which may include fighters, drones, and other networked platforms in space or the cyber realm. Regarding the number of prototype aircraft that have been flown and the defense companies that produced them, Roper declined to answer. He refused to provide the location or date of the first flight. Furthermore, he declined to reveal any information regarding the aircraft's mission, crewing level, optional or required, ability to travel at hypersonic speeds or stealth features. He stated that those qualities are unimportant. The Air Force has demonstrated that it can use cutting-edge advanced manufacturing techniques to build and test a virtual version of its next fighter, and then move on to building a full-scale prototype and flying it with mission systems on board. This is significant, according to Roper, especially considering that the Air Force completed an analysis of alternatives just a year ago. According to Roper, this is not just something that you can apply to things that are simple systems, like the T-7 Red Hawk trainer jet from Boeing, which was the first Air Force aircraft to be constructed with the holy trinity of open architecture, agile software development, and digital engineering. We're aiming for the most intricate systems ever constructed, and this digital technology has fulfilled every requirement. We've done more than just check the boxes instead. We've shown that we can accomplish truly amazing things. The initiative known as Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, is currently at a decision-making stage. Roper only stated that it would be pretty fast when asked how soon the Air Force could begin producing its next-generation aircraft. However, the service must first decide how many aircraft it will commit to buying and when it wants to start doing so before deciding to start building a new generation of fighters. These decisions could have an impact on the fiscal 2022 budget. The initiative itself can append the defense sector significantly. If the Air Force purchases NGAD shortly, it will be introducing competition to the F-35 and F-15 EX programs, which might potentially jeopardize them. Additionally, since the commercial sector invented the sophisticated manufacturing methods necessary to construct NGAD, the initiative may pave the way for the emergence of new prime contractors for the aircraft, including SpaceX creator Elon Musk, who might be interested in constructing an F-35 rival. According to Roper, I have to imagine there will be a lot of engineers who will decide that starting the world's greatest aircraft company to build the world's greatest aircraft with the Air Force is exactly the kind of inspiring thing they want to do as a hobby or even a main gig. Some of these engineers may be well-known, with household names and billions of dollars to invest. According to Mackenzie Edlin, a defense budget analyst with the American Enterprise Institute, the Air Force may be able to gain more financial support from Congress at this crucial juncture by disclosing the flight record of a full-scale fighter prototype. The service is currently operating under budget constraints and needs to gain momentum. It just changes the whole dynamic for the Hill if you can get to something quickly and show progress through product," the speaker stated. Given all of Roper's obstacles, it would appear that this would be a good way to demonstrate the conceptual viability of his concepts. According to Roper, there is also a strategic advantage to ongoing fighter development and manufacture. China is forced to go on the defensive in response to U.S. technological advancements 
when new capabilities, such as drone wingmen or hypersonic weapons, develop and get integrated into the fighter's manufacturing. In addition to briefing staff members on the defense committees, Roper has undertaken secret meetings with numerous politicians to discuss the results of the business case study and the specifics of the NIDA development and testing process. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.